I like the turmeric and not just the curcumin because there's another compound, you know, that's in um, t- turmeric called turmerone, aromatic turmerone. And a study just came out like a couple of months ago on this where um, it's actually, it does, it, it does a lot of the same things that the uh, curcumin does and that it inhibits inflammation, but it does something in addition to that. It actually uh, repairs brain damage because it causes the proliferation of neural stem cells in your brain. So Whoa. I know it's <clears> like, <throat> and it was very robust. There's, there's two regions of the brain that you can actually, uh, you have neural stem cells, and where, which means you can make new neurons. You've You've damaged neurons, neurons have died, you know, you want to replace those neurons. And there's two regions in the brain that can do that, the subventricular zone and the dentate gyrus. And so tumerone actually causes the proliferation of neural stem cells in the subventricular zone. And to, to some degree, I mean, they were giving these mice, I can't recall off the top of my head the dose, but they were giving them a pretty high dose. And what they found was that it increased the proliferation of them by like, you know, 60% which is pretty significant. Um, part of the problem with age is that uh, these neural stem cells, they start to proliferate less. And as they start to proliferate less, then you have less of them being made, and you also have less uh, new neurons being made, so ne- less neurogenesis. So if you think about in the context of someone who's undergone a traumatic brain injury, they've undergone, they've had massive amounts of cell death occurring from that reactive oxygen species, from that inflammation. You know, they've lost neurons. That's, that's, that's a fact. So if you can have something that's boosting the proliferation of their neural stem cells, that's a great thing. Uh, it's not just a great thing for people that have had an injury. It's a great thing for just normal brain aging. Um, I think it's also a great thing for, you know, people that are susceptible to neurodegenerative diseases like myself. Because uh, I have one of these ApoE4 alleles, you know. So I'm, you know, I've got to be really careful um, because I can't repair damage as well. If I can make sure I grow new neurons, then, you know, that's that's a good thing. I didn't know there was anything that you could eat that could help grow new neurons. I'd never it, heard of that before. Yeah, so tumerone is stimu- it stimulates the proliferation of the uh, neural stem cells in the subventricular zone. Um, this this study was really came out like less than two months ago. That's incredible. It's pretty incredible. Yeah. I mean, so you could get smarter from eating turmeric. They did get smarter. Yeah. That's they had insane. Improve, they had improvements. Now, <clears throat> I mean, take this with a grain of salt in the sense where it's like the whole bioavailability thing in humans and how much mm-hmm. are we, that's always the issue. It's like, okay, well, they're giving mice, you know, a much higher dose and, you know, so that it's like bypassing, first of all, they're injecting it in some cases. So it's bypassing the whole getting absorbed. But the fact that it occurs is hopeful because it's like, well, eventually we'll find a way to overcome some of the bioavailability issues, which, you know, we kind of are. So Um, is the bioavailability issue mitigated at all by a large dose? So like if you're taking like what what do you recommend as a dose, like a thousand milligram pills or what I have of uh, turmeric? Well, in the case of the mouse studies, it's mitigated by a large dose that's given intravenously. So So I need to start shooting up. (laughs) So you don't have, but but see, how do you how do you shoot up turmeric? Yeah, I you know, I don't know. I and and the question is, what about up your butt? They've they got do that <laughs> suppository. They have clinical trials that that are they're doing now with people with Alzheimer's or people that um, have you know dementia early you know early dementia signs. They're doing this with uh, turmeric, and I hope they use piperine also. Are they uh, using suppositories, or, or am I just? I don't know. I don't know what they're using because a lot of studies have come out recently in a different in different model organisms where they've looked like at worms and flies mm-hmm. and mice and, and they have all these different neurodegenerative, you know, sort of models where they look and study this stuff and they find hands down this turmeric is doing some cool shit. Like it's it's awesome. And, and these studies, are they administering it? Orally, or are they using injectables? Well, if you're, t- if you're talking about mice, then there a lot of them have been injectables. And this is where the studies are coming out. So yes. the studies aren't on humans yet. Um, but, they, but they did get smarter. The people that they did it to that got smarter. They did. So how uh, do they? The people? No, those were mice. Those, those the were, mice got smarter. The mouse performed better on learning and memory. Oh, yes, okay, yes, yes. 